Hey, what's going on, guys? I was absolutely shocked when I saw this stock over 2,000% at one point today. Yes, SPI Energy stock went nuts today. We're going to get into it, but first, here are the numbers for the day. We've got a rise of $12.95 per share, or 1,233.33%. SPI currently trades at $14 per share. 52-week low is $0.55. Cents. 52-week high is $46.67. Short interest is 0.28%. Market cap is around $200 million. And volume today is $345 million. As a reminder, please consider hitting that subscribe button below so as to not miss out on future videos. So obviously, we are going to talk about the news today, but I think it's important to give some brief info on the company itself. First of all, at its core, SPI Energy is a photovoltaic energy solutions company, which is a fancy way of saying solar energy company. They are headquartered in Hong Kong, and they have business businesses all throughout the world, including Greece, the United States, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Germany. Their solar business is not particularly impressive, although I was surprised after learning that they installed these solar panels on top of the Staples Center where the LA Lakers play. They also offer customized evaluation to help consumers pick their best design and structure for solar solar panels. While they aren't the biggest brand name in the industry, they have acquired a large number of companies to establish their position as well. So you might be asking, why was this company trading at a dollar per share to begin with, which was a market cap of around 15 million. The answer is that the revenue has been declining aggressively for quite some time. If you take a look at this chart, you can see since 2015, they went from almost 20 million in a year to under 100 million. So clearly the company has not been performing that well. But today prompted investors to go crazy after the company announced its plans to launch a subsidiary called Edison Future, which will design and develop electric vehicles and will also partner with major manufacturers. They will also develop EV charging solutions, which complements the EV space, of course. And it seems very logical that they would proceed in this way, considering that the company – SPI Energy already has PV solutions in Silicon Valley, which focuses on solar and battery storage. The company pretty much didn't say anything else in the press release. So look, sure it looks great that they want to create a large company with many different cars and a big brand, but every company wants this, of course. The EV space is getting really big and competitive. Just right now, to name a few, we have Xping Motors, Neo, Lucent Motors, Tesla, Nikola, if they're still relevant, Lordstown Motors, Fisker, Karma Automotive, Candy Technologies, Workhorse, and then some more commercial-based companies like Workhorse and Proterra. And we also have more established automakers who are going to the space like Audi, BMW, GM, Nissan, and many others. So even now, as this industry is emerging, it's no small task to survive or even thrive. It's clear when people see news about new EV companies going public or something similar, they immediately draw parallels or attempt to draw parallels between Tesla stock and the newer and younger company. Yes, it looks like Tesla is going to ultimately succeed in spite of the haters, but they just barely reached profitability over the past one year. Their PE has been over a 1000x multiple which is insane to think about it's dropped back a little recently but people have been paying 900 to a thousand times their earnings for this stock so in order for tesla for tesla to succeed in their stock price they will have to do everything exactly right does spi interest me with edison future yes absolutely but it's too early for me i will definitely wait for more news on development and more and Going forward, I would expect the market to continue to react strongly, either negatively or positively, depending on any sort of news. So there will certainly be a lot of volatility going forward. But that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to catch you in the next video. See ya.